Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Today, we're uh, still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and I, uh, in the meantime, I've spent some uh, time exploring Beauclair and the surrounding areas and done a few of the Radiant quests. And uh, on my way to all the contract boards, like the one here, the, the notice boards, I actually found something weird in this quarry. There seems to be... A few corpses over here, so let's take a look around. Need to ask around. Locals might know something more. There we go. Locals might know something more. Although it doesn't look like there are many locals left. Seems like everybody ran away. Maybe there's something upstairs there? Maybe. Give me a second. Anybody around here? So, we're upstairs. Vampires attack the city? Once again, I've slept through all the fun. All the fun? That wasn't fun. Seems to be a few oh, workers hello. here, but... They don't seem to be all that talkative. More workers. I'll do what they pay oh, me to do. That's it. On last night too. Huh. That is weird. So there are a few people around here, but they don't seem to... Have any interest in talking to me about what happened downstairs? More workers over Look, here and a supervisor, so maybe this guy can tell us something more. Iron ears alone, Witcher. Okay, never mind, but I do see an exclamation park at the end of the runway here, so maybe that's something to start off with. So underneath the walkway, there seems to be someone. Oh, foreman Pavnuzio, who seems to be inside of the floor. What Hello? the glory blasting devils are you doing, man? What plague? An unfortunate turn of offense, that's all. Get back to chiseling. If we don't deliver that head on time, the infestor will twist my plums off. Okay. Is that what you'll tell Emil's widow? That a cow crushed him and it was an accident? This, sir, is a grave matter. It requires a specialist. Some mage or warlock. Or maybe a witcher. What happened here? Right on time as usual. Look, it's that witcher who's come to town. Maybe he can do something. An exorcism or the like. We should ask how much coin he'll want. Uh, I'm Sorry, standing notice. right over here. Got a problem with a cow? Oh. Fear a plague, okay, that so it? that's one of the contracts I picked yes, up. Yes, indeed. And a horrid one at that. We've asked the gods something true we have. In Zedekania, they've sent a plague of locusts, then of frogs. With us, they skipped right to raining cows down on us. So that guy we found Enough. was actually crushed Enough. by a cow. No need to so panic. Come, Master Witcher, I shall divulge to you the matter at hand. Okay, sounds like a plan. Yes, an unfortunate matter indeed. To be crushed by a cow. A true shame, Emil. He was a good worker. I told them at once there had to be a simple explanation, but that lot, no, right away they started in screaming PLAGUE, demanding higher wages for hardship, poor working conditions, you see? They ruin me, the blotters. Mm. My job is to figure out why a cow fell from the sky, that it? That too. The thing is, since none bother to clear the cow corpse, some filths overrun the other pit. We fear to venture there. Oh, yeah, there were a few ghouls and I already took care of them right now. Not surprised. Cow, where'd it come from? What kind was it? Why, the ordinary spotted kind. Nothing unusual. The ordinary it's spotted rots in the kind, other pit, yep. Sends out its stench, and the meal lies right beneath it. Will you tend to the matter and take on the contract? Sure, but first we'll have to haggle a bit. So what exactly are you doing here? Yeah, because exactly this is some is kind of quarry, here? but he was talking about a head. Construction of a statue of the prophet Lepiota. We're carving it. Not all at once, that is, but piece by piece. A pious infestus revived the project after years of neglect. He's engaged all nearby quarries in its completion. That's nice it of him. It would be on schedule were it not for the incident. Please, Master, will you look into it? Of course we will. So, uh, anyone witnessed the uh, accident? The cow Tell accident? Not this accident. Anyone actually see what happened? No. But sounds there were. Osterv had just gone to see how Emil was getting along when suddenly we heard an ear botching boom. Moments later, something smashed into one of the cranes. Doubt it was the cow that hit the crane. Probably true. 
At any rate, come morn we ventured out to sea, but the vermin drove us off. With that, all work came to a halt, has remained so since. Master, tarry no longer, please. Will you take on the matter? So something probably came along and threw a cow at poor Emil. Some sort of giant, a cyclops probably. So let's talk about the reward first, of course. Need to talk about my reward before I decide. Ah, Money talks. For good heckle. So how much would you take? Well, since you're the foreman of this place, let's start at a nice uh, 360. Mm. You must go lower for it to make any sense to me. Okay, fair enough. Let's go to 345, maybe that might Fine. be nice. There we but go. But that is the sum total, no bonuses or gratuities on top. Understood? Yes, sir. I'll look into it. Fine, I'll look into it. Might be a botched portal, but I doubt it. Lapiota rewards you with progeny plenty. I shall keep an eye out for your return. Okay then. So, the bovine blues. Examine the cow carcass and the workman's body. So, uh, let me get back up and around towards the next hole and I'll see you guys over there. So, there we are, back in the other quarry. The other part of the quarry. I don't think there's a direct line, actually, no. So, that uh, goes up first before it goes down again. So, this is poor Emil, got crushed by a cow. Didn't really recognize the cow, but now that I look closer, yeah, indeed. It is a cow. The guts have blown out, probably from the impact, but poor Emil just got obliterated by it. So let's examine. Must be Emil. Workers mentioned him. Poor guy, unlucky as all hell. Right, now where do I start? Ooh, a good old-fashioned autopsy. So wounds on the worker's body. Crushed by something heavy. Skull base is cracked. Fresh tooth marks. Necrophages, but they got to him after his death. Won't learn anything else from the body. Yeah, because he's probably not the problem. The cow is the problem. Blunt trauma wounds on the cow, probably from the impact. Tissues crushed in places. Must have fallen from quite a height. There are claw marks on it as well, so... Bite wounds on the cow, probably from the necrophages Cuts as well. open. Hmm. Not much blood, so it happened after death. Heart had already stopped pumping. Tooth marks. Small ones, though. So necrophages left him clearly. Sure sniffed out their feast fast. Okay, and then we have the punctures and slashes. Probably the more interesting wounds on the cow. Deep claw wounds. Spread between talons indicates a draconid. A wyvern, probably. Oh. These wounds weren't the cause of death. So... <laughs> the poor man was crushed because a wyvern or something dropped the cow he caught right on his head. Poor, poor man. So the cause of the accident. Got it. All clear now. Cow died when it fell from a great height. Draconid must have dropped it. A youngster probably trying to get the cow back to its nest, but it proved too heavy. Emil's bad luck to be standing right underneath. That is amazing. Well, no, it's, it's kind crane. of amazing. So yeah, the crane was damaged as well, so probably the wyvern just bumped it and that's why it dropped the cow. So let's go upstairs again, over here and let's see. Oh, there's blood over there. There's blood over there. I want to jump. Okay, examine. Blood. Draconid must have hit it pretty hard. Dropped the cow, then probably tried to steady its flight. Got hurt in the process. Good. Should be simple to track down. So it bumped into the crane and then dropped the cow right on top of uh, poor Emil. Ooh. So let's track the, the, the drag in it. Don't really know what it's gonna be yet. Maybe something fancy. Do we see anything? Probably some sort of blood trail we need to Traces follow. Of there we go. Blood. Barely perceptible. I'm on the right track. Yes, indeed we are. So let's go. Started bleeding heavily. Wound was more serious than I thought, looks like. Ooh, that might make it more easy on us. A young draconid and heavily wounded. Maybe it's already killed by something else. Looks like it dropped on top of the roof over there. Kind of okay, rock fiend, so yeah. It's dead. Um, hi guys. Hmm. 
Smells like savage. Must have attacked a local distillery. Bastard. And there goes the last one. I know it seems like there's another one, but I can actually loot the place already. It seems to be quite a bit off right there. Hello. And explode. There we go. Last rot fiend taken care of with our uh, lovely arandite sword. And what's this? Damn it! Half-eaten body with. Scorch marks? Hmm, definitely not a wyvern. Slizzard, gotta be. They breathe fire. Ooh, slizzards, let's take a look at that. Slizzards, some peasants once offered me a king's ransom to slay a slizzard, a damned hefty purse, chock full of gold, but I turned them down. Coins no good if you're dead, and a slizzard, that's no fucking fork tale. Zator, one of the Sinfrit, Srinfrit Reavers. Slizzards are often mistaken for wyverns or forktails, yet make no mistake. Slizzards are nasty, terrible, dangerous beasts, and confusing them for wyverns will end very badly for the confuser. While a wyvern can tear apart and devour an untrained man in seconds, only a slizzard can first bake him to a crisp with a waft of fiery breath. So yeah, no uh, igni this time, so grape shot, dragonite oil, ard and quen of course. So. Let's already go for the Draconite oil right there. Supply that. And, uh, well, I'm gonna have to find some clues here. And, of course, loot, because there's loot in this place. Thank you very much. And there seems to be a note here as well. Bootlegger's notes. So I say to that, Minister Tremblay, the whole sans Tour Valley is overrated. Those wines, why, don't get me started on Estest. Ever since they started mass producing it, producing it, they should call it Eta Eta, for it's definitely been better days. So that's uh, the past tense of being. Est Est is, 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 and Eta Eta is was, was, if you would uh, literally translate that. Tenny says, right you are, always been a Côte de Blessure chap myself. In fact, between you and me, I even prefer it to Sangreal. You know the wine reserved for her illustrious highness in her and her inner circle. And then, the fool I am, I blurt out, Oh, I agree, whenever her grace has me tasted, I've got to swill my mouth out with vodka afterwards, to wash out that rancid taste. Oh, come on, I was drunk, wasn't I? Talking out of my bum. Well, turns out I had rather overvalued my position at court. Tremblay needed but say a word in the duchess's ear, and in three shakes of a donkey's tail, I was out on the street. The job of a ducal taster has been given back to Benoit, can you believe it? After that scandal involving Baroness Niquet and Quilin? As for me, well, what was I supposed to do? Had no choice but to start making and drinking my own brews. That's always been my true passion. So that was actually the previous taster, uh, aside from Benoit, that we found, uh, we met during the main quest. Interesting. Not that, that there's anything tied to that, probably, but interesting nonetheless. So let's loot all that. And what is this? Landed on the roof of the distillery. Raised a ruckus, made a mess, then moved on. Okay. But it is wounded, so... I'm gonna still have to follow the blood trail, probably. Paw prints. Crawled through here. Oh. Clearly too tired to fly. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna save first. There we go. So let's pop a quen already as well. Let's follow the paw prints. I kind of hear something already, but that's the wrong direction. Way. Barely crawling. So that might be good for us. What's this? Mm, second draconid landed here. A larger one. Waited for the smaller one to heal. Oh, that's a problem. Together should be easy to track. Smaller one was still bleeding, luckily. Okay, so now we need to find Slizzard Matriarchs. Okay. Slizzard Matriarchs, if you ever find yourself facing a monster that breeds fire, strikes with a tail tipped with venomous spines, bites with sharp teeth, and swipes with even sharper claws, and tends to knock its prey to the ground with a sonic blast, then you are fighting a slizzard. With an arsenal like that, it comes as no surprise folk often mistake these dragonets for dragons. Yet the experts, meaning witchers, no slizzards constitute an entirely separate species. 
with much smaller than dragons and far less dangerous. With one exception, slizzard females in mating season or, even worse, just after laying their eggs. When fighting such individuals, my suggestion is to get as far as possible from the danger as quickly as possible, preferably by running at full tilt without looking back. So that doesn't sound good. Okay, but let's follow the blood tracks. Flew off Ooh. together. Probably bound for their nest. This isn't gonna be good, is it? What the hell? This is red all over the place. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen? Trail ends here. Nest's up there. I bet the farm on it. Yes, indeed. That was one. Climb to the top of the hill to reach the slizzards. Why are there two? Seriously, why are there two? Um, is there anything else I can do to prepare? I could equip grape shot as well. I think I'm gonna be have more use for the crossbow than the grape shot bombs. Holy shit, that's a dragon. Well, it's it's a slizzard, I know, but. Oh, that's the female. That's the female. Where's the other one? There's the other one. Um... Oh, hi. Hi, Slizzard female. So they breathe fire, so... Oh, shit. Yeah, he's, he's, she's doing it all right. Doesn't look like she has that much health, though. Oh, okay. That was not what I wanted to do. Okay, and there's the other one. I'm gonna focus on the on the mother first. Although the wounded seems to be very wounded. Oh shit. Yeah, there we go. And down it goes. Yeah, I think I killed the the female, so the mother. Where are you going? His mouth is full of fire. Ooh, wow. Okay, that I threw that in the face, but kind of hit him to the ground as well. Oh, and there's a place of power here as well. <laughs> and down you go. Yes, indeed. Down you go. That was right. really cool. Right time I collected a trophy. Rest of the eggs haven't hatched yet. Need to burn the whole nest. So that's one, and this is the matriarch. So let's loot this one as well. And probably get the the head, yeah, the trophy. There we go. Chopping, chopping, chopping. Happily chopping. Chop. And that's another head, so let's try to destroy the nest as well. Uh, destroy. Put a bomb. Oh, yeah, that's I'll also a way to do it. Can I loot that? Yes, I can. So dragon scales. I'm not gonna take those skulls. I don't really need that. There seems to be a place of power underneath this place. Wonder where exactly. Must be that ruined Fort Lafog mentioned. Worth a look. Oh, so this is already. Oh, so the Grandmaster Griffin gear is also located in these ruins. So yeah, I'm gonna. Keep that for when we actually do that quest. Anything else I can find around here? Probably not. So I'm gonna collect my reward in a minute uh, and I guess I'll see you guys there. If I'm honest, I actually kinda already forgot because of the, the how cool the slizzards look that we actually started this uh, with an investigation in, in its, into uh, how somebody got crushed by a cow. But, uh, hello, uh, Foreman Pavnuzio. Hello? Well, have you learned how that cow came to fly? Yes, we did. So, uh, cleared everything up. Yeah, you can get back to work. And it wasn't a plague of falling cows. Did I not say so from the start? A weight off my chest. So, what was behind the animal's plummet? Young Slizzard flying over the quarry dropped it was trying to get it back to its nest, food for its mother and siblings. Probably heard the last of the beasts. Burned the nest, eggs, everything. 
A praiseworthy precaution, but as I said, I can only pay you what we agreed. I simply haven't any more. That's not a problem, I suppose. And I thank you, Master. Only 10 experience points for killing of, well, two slizzards. I was gonna say dragon again, but there's slizzards, I know there's slizzards. Okay, now what? All cleared up now, right? No gods, no plague, just the dragon, but it's gone too. We're to pay Emil's widow compensation, and that will be that. So, why do you still stand there and wait, men? Back to work, chop chop! Oh, and, and they were so notion, happy. suspicious workings are still afoot. What became of the builders who were to put the statue together? They were due three days back, yet there's still no sign of them at Ardesto. They were crushed too, I'm certain of it. Or eaten, or, or locusts got them, like in Zerikania. What's this rubbish you spout now? The architect wrote they would arrive a week late with a large shipment of marble from Metana for the Prophet's beard. So stop flapping your yaps and get to work. Okay, so I think this kind of ties into another quest. Work, master. Because uh, the statue they're working on, the statue of Lebioda, is actually something we can uh, help talk, construct. I lied. But I cannot have them panic again. The workers he mentioned, they've indeed vanished. Come see me later, I shall divulge to you the details. Ooh, another contract. So, uh, Bovine Blue, so that's, that's the other quest. So Big Feet to Fill is the other quest. I've done a few of those because those are tied into uh, some of the Radiant quests as well. Um, where we uh, free some uh, captured men. So I think there's five of those sub-quests in total. And that should get you the entire statue in its completion. So there's a hand over there. So I'm going to assume that that needs to be transported there as well. And uh, the head will also uh, probably be the last thing we need to do. But, um, I think I'm gonna, gonna first do something else. So in the meantime, I, all, uh, I also did the, uh, the Radiant quests for uh, Liam and Matilda, for, for the Wine Wars quest. We uh, never really completed that, so I killed the rest of the uh, Arch Spores, or Arcus Spores, as you, uh, as you like. And uh, freed a few of their employees as well, so that should complete that quest once we return to them. So uh, see you guys right back to uh, Liam and Matilda. So we're back at the Office of uh, Internal Revenue. I never knew vampire extermination could be so hard. And now we should just talk to the Ducal Clerk again. Master Witchet, have you any news? Well, everything should be done. Solved your problems. Coronata and Vermentino can both go back to operating normally. Under the circumstances, it is my pleasure to announce that the title to the Belgard Vineyard will officially be signed over to the new consortium the two of you shall form. Truly? I cannot believe it! We've done it! Oh, thank you, Witcher! I've no idea how to repay you. Could start with my reward. Yes! Well deserved, I dare say. Here! That was about 500 crowns each, right? Oh, 850, never mind. <coughs> Far wow. be it from me to insist, but I for feeling a professional's aid might yet be useful to you. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Come with me. It is high time you saw Belgard. I'm not sure I liked his tone. Come with us, Witcher. Something tells me we shall have work for you yet. Okay. So Wine Wars Consorting is complete, but uh, fine, we'll go to Belgard with you. Alright, let's go. Hopefully nothing too big of a problem, I hope. <clears throat> My desire for Belgard to pass into capable hands was no idle... I've been told of workers dying okay. on their rounds. Dialogue's Monsters there. prowling about. Before anyone can call this home, they will have to deal with these uh, inconveniences. That is the minister's wish. More work for me, I guess. If you're willing, we'll gladly accept your help. Uh, I am willing, but of course, as always, so let's talk about my pay first. I can help, sure, but I won't work for free. Ooh, that is a nice, nice bit of money. Let's start this out at 1,150 crowns. Please? A bit less? Is that out of the question? Oh, seriously? 1,100 then? 
A bit less? God damn it. 1050. There we go. Fine. We have a deal. Ooh, that's gonna be a nice reward, so sure, I'll help you out. More or less already agreed, I guess. Oh, that's a weight off my chest, I must say. Your reward shall be fair, I promise. I'll I might have already done a few things of this. Oh no. So zero out of, zero out of five, Wine Wars, Belgard. I'm gonna do this off camera as well, the same as I did with the previous ones. Uh, but we'll uh, come back to this uh, as well. So with that done, I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.